Hey up guys, well it's been a couple of months hasn't it? Uh, oh hang on a minute, I'm just uh, watching a the guy there, he's just gone into the bin for some tab ends, as you do. Uh, mind you, the price of bloody smoking these days, I don't blame him. Uh, though I don't smoke myself. You still, but not anymore. But oh, anyway, yeah, hello, I'm back. It's been a couple of months as I said. Uh, anybody who's uh, on Instagram or Facebook will know from a post that we're uh, we're back in van full time after a, uh, a couple of months. Uh, well, should I say Sarah's had a couple of months break? I've done a fifty-fifty because I've been going to Leeds, having to stay in Leeds, so up to get some working. Because uh, uh, yeah, another seaside town. To be honest, is not a lot of work. Though I'm in process of now trying to get my taxi badge. So uh, I've got a knowledge test tomorrow, which uh, fingers crossed, I pass. Uh, I've had to uh, pay. What rate? How much went for knowledge? Yeah, for application of two hundred and twenty-five pound, and then your medical was ninety-five pound, and then uh, the DB is it called DBS or something like that? Anyway, that criminal records check that was fifty-five quid. So you have to do an enhancement for taxi. And uh, the medical, like that, uh, blood pressure. So might have to uh, get that a bit more under control because it's been high, and I've had to put this. Uh, this had to be put down on medical. So if I pass the knowledge test, I might not necessarily have to be, be taxing because I might have to wait until that goes to normal. But we'll see. Anyway, so yeah, we're, so we're back in uh, back in van. Uh, I've done some uh, changes, as you know. I've uh, built a uh, it's a crap all today but yep yeah, i've uh, built this unit and then receipt as i showed before but what i have done now like i said crap all they're just moving everything back in really i've done away kind of this cupboard what i had here because because i've got this unit here and then that cupboard there there's not a lot of space and uh Sarah found it struggles, uh, was struggling basically to get up and down, and uh, and it just opens it up for her now. So uh, uh, during the day, she she can uh, sprawl across there and, and look out at window, but it kind of makes it a bit more airy. Uh, I'm gonna have to invest in some uh, some stands and proper gear, I think, sometime because uh, uh, currently I've got you propped up against a uh, jar of mayonnaise. Mind you, it's cheaper than a stand, isn't it? What was the auction men like? Uh, I've shown him a cup before. There we are. Oh, it's backwards on here, isn't it? But yeah, uh, the auction man live for YouTube. We've already done this, Scarborough. You have to have get cups if you, you're not a YouTuber if you don't get a cup, are you? Or a jumper. We've got jumpers as well. Though I ain't got that far out done stickers and uh, t shirts. Uh, I'm not that famous, or I'm not that much of a YouTuber to to be able to get my face splattered or whatever splattered all over the front of a. Uh, there's somebody else going in the bin for tab ends. Uh, I won't mind the bin where they're going in for tab ends. They also put your dog shit in there. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> it's on your roll, roll. You get that mm, uh, that quite little distinct little taste to your sig. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, everybody here on, isn't it? So anyway, so we've uh, uh, with this now where we are. So we're fluctuating. Uh, we've got so many stops, and everybody not see life centre, don't they? But the hell, it's like an apocalypse. If I said that right, uh, sometimes there uh, uh, during summer, it's just a mass of motorhomes, and I'm surprised councils never put a stop to it. I, I, I really don't understand because it's a it's one of their car parks. And come like, it's, you know, between nine and six, you, you're putting brass in it, like to park up. Uh, I always wondered, is it because it's Sea Life Centre, so it's not kind of isolated and people are there or something, so it's kind of like eyes on it uh, or ears on it. I don't know, but uh, this time of year it's pretty quiet uh, and they don't charge anyway, so you're not like having it disappear at nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, also, Marine Drive at this time of year, they don't charge. Uh, Though you can't park on certain bit of it, uh, which is a shame, really, because it's a nice little sort of like stuck into a cliff bit, which won't have minded, but you're not allowed there come 11 o'clock at night. Uh, uh, but yeah, apart from that, it's just the uh, just the norm, really. I've uh, 
if anybody else is uh, uh, a van lifer in uh, Scarborough district around here, uh, give us a shout because I don't know anybody else. Uh, you can't tell here because uh, obviously everybody comes in the campers and the motorhomes anyway, so you can't we all blend in, don't we? That's the good thing about it. Uh, being at coast, you, you don't look out of place. Uh, unless like, you've got your, your music blaring out and that lot, and you've got some type of rave going off from you there. Uh, but you kind of like just fit in, no one kind of like looks at you and thinks, oh, that, are they living in that? That looks a bit odd. So, uh, currently, I've got a view, I'm up at South Cliff, and uh, the houses behind me, they must pay what? half a million or whatever for theirs and that and uh, god knows what council tax and uh, i can just sit here and just get the same view for free that's what i love about van life but gotta say this place where we were uh was right up at top uh, like the uh, the attic and uh oh i i I didn't like it, mate. She used to go to work, and when I want, you know, if I want doing that, that like, I'd out in van me. I, it was like uh, it was just cooped up in there. You had a small little window, and if you did look out, you was looking up traffic, a file of road up traffic coming down. And uh, I hated it, mate. So I felt more comfortable in van. So I was just out in van, uh, especially when she was uh, might be working a bit late because you don't finish late in put till till God knows what time sometimes in pubs and. Uh, so that's it, I'm out in pan and uh, let her sleep during it there. Though it might, I don't know how it's going to kind of work with her finishing late and sort of like me, me being up. Then again, if I end up taxiing, I could be out from six o'clock in the morning. Could be out doing it at night. I don't know if I fancy doing night, so to be honest. Probably too quiet and I get bored. Mm -mm. Anyway, so yeah, that's his uh, little update. So I'll catch you all guys later. Bye-bye.